art has long been thought of as a form of therapy, but one El Paso artist is bringing that idea to life. And ABC 7's mental health reporter Eva Rothinus is here with us to give us some extra perspective on Scott Hovis, who's turned a challenge in his life into literal art. Yes. And Avery, can you please tell us a little bit more about Scott and why he chose to paint? Yes, well Scott, well first off you've got to know that Scott has Tourette's syndrome and while you know, it's more famous for having uh, sort of a vocal condition where you might say words you didn't mean to. You can also have more physical conditions, and it affects the nervous system. And in Scott's case in particular, switches and different things like that that are very physical and seen. And so he had an opening of his new show, and he told us about why he decided to paint himself and about what that means to him. So here he is in his own words. Like beauty turn pain into passion. So when I paint sometimes, I can really get into such a deep focus to where the Tourette's and the, the nervousness and the jitters, they don't come out. And other times, I can't control them at all, but there's still this, this element of, of this, this beautiful mystery between exploring the unknown of a, of a disability and turning it into creativity. From the moment I saw Scott's work, was just blown away. Really something that's really advanced. What's more remarkable as well is he's neurodivergent. His work is a way for him to go and lean into that and take that challenge uh, that he faces on a day-to-day -day and turn it into an opportunity to create beauty and joy and, and really a sense of love for himself. By the time I was a teenager, 15, 16, I started having all kinds of twitches and ticks and all these things that I, I couldn't control. And then now being 23, it's probably been about 10, 15 years living with this. You can see him, you know, go and treat the canvas as a way to sort of go into a meditative state. And to see that, that ability to turn a challenge into a, a positivity, into an opportunity, is a lesson that all of us can learn from. It's really like a dream come true. It's such a blessing from God to be able to do this. Uh, it's, it's a privilege, but I've, I've worked really, really hard for this. And I'm, I'm glad to bring some new creativity and exploration into the community. The way that he, he treats color, uh, the sensitivity between foreground and background, and even though it's still paint on a canvas, um, is something that, that artists and painters who have decades of experience have a hard time capturing. And here he does it with such passion and with such humility. We all have challenges, everybody struggles. The way you respond to those struggles is Ultimately, what will define your story in the end? Be patient, be kind to everyone, and say to El Paso to continue being a, a warm city that welcomes everyone, and hopefully to explore themselves through creativity and artwork, and just be able to really find that freedom through creativity, which ultimately is a solution to every problem. Scott does sell his work and you can find it at the Purple Gallery here in El Paso. His main message is for people to grow and work on overcoming whatever life throws at them. All right, well, thank you for sharing his story with us, Avery.